Hey, Jason. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Everything okay, Ben? This is probably my last day alive, so, uh... I just want to state for the official on the record and such that, uh... Frank did wrong by you. What are you talking about, last day alive? Frank told me to hit up some supply drops and stashes, right? From some of the other families and outfits running around Vegas. So, I got a guy following their couriers around. Problem is, that if my guy's tailing the couriers, no one's actually picking up what they're dropping off. Don't worry, Ben. I'll help you out. Oh, you're the best. I'll text you the locations. I'm out in child support payments, so I'm earning about $6.75 a month, so... Okay, I guess. You are known for being this, like, hardcore party maniac. Give us a crazy story. On our tour of uh, Southeast Asia in 91, I met a guy who was gonna steal me some blood, but he must have slipped me something else. Because next thing I know, I woke up in a bedroom surrounded by these scary Japanese business people. I thought I was a girl on account of the old glam thing. That. Please excuse this interruption as we bring you the latest breaking news. This station has received numerous call ins reporting street violence in the construction zone in western Las Vegas. Gang leaders associated with Los Picantes have been spotted at the scene. Police are urging residents and visitors to stay clear of Western Las Vegas until the area is secured. And, as Police Chief Ralph Watkins put it, quote, the trash is taken out. More as the situation progresses. Nice the delight is no more as of next Monday. Apparently, their building was bought by a large real estate conglomerate who plans on putting in another big chain coffee shop. A coffee shop? As if the three on that block weren't enough already. I'll never forget the times I spent there. Rocking out to the tunes on the radio while digging my stiletto into the scrotum of some great old man. I'll tell you, I ended up with Keep it in your hearts, Rockers. Always. Okay, Rockers, it's the time of day when we hit the phones and take calls from you, our loyal listeners. Let's see what sick things are happening in your minds. Hey, you're on the night. What's happening? Yo, I just want to ask what happened to Thrash Metal. It used to be everywhere, and then losers and stores made sure it disappeared. That's one viewpoint, but I think it's more complicated than that. I guess at its core, it's all about trends. Thrash Metal used to be a force to be reckoned with on the airwaves until a combination of oversaturation and the hunger for the next big thing forced new artists to expand their horizons. You could say that it all went the way of folk or frog rock. It's all about the free market, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, you don't want to punish me for not understanding the free market, do you? Jay, seriously, thanks. I won't forget this. Sure, Ben. <laughs> 